Greetings, I am Socks. And, this is my big brother Patches. When Patches was born, he was considered the run of his litter. Nobody thought he could do anything. They were always calling him a dumb dog. Then, one day Patches met Mary and Scott. They were living in the apartment next door, and Mary was a brain tumor survivor. Mary had a seizure disorder, that was mostly controlled by medication. Mary loves animals, especially dogs. She always has. She loved Patches from the moment she met him. The feeling was very mutual. Patches adored Mary, and he followed her everywhere she went. He felt a sense of responsibility to look after her, and care for her. Because she cared so much for him. For the first time, Patches wasn't being called a dumb dog, but rather sweet encouraging words. Patches had an amazing ability, all dogs do. Patches could smell when Mary was going to have a seizure. He noticed that she smelled differently right before she had a seizure, and he would suddenly get very nervous, and upset. Mary would notice this and she knew it meant to go lay down before a seizure was about to happen. Most days, Patch's current owner, while she was away at work was having him do doggy daycare with Mary. And Patches was thrilled about this. He just hated having to go home every night and having to leave Mary. Patches would sit at the back door waiting to go back to see Mary. Being at his own home was like punishment. Being away from Mary made him so sad. Well, for the holiday season in 2019, Mary and Scott took a small vacation. Patches came to the back door every day and wanted to see Mary, thinking she was still there. Mary and Scott got home. A few days later Patches' owner came to Mary and Scott to tell them the news. Patches had stayed at the back door all the time they were gone and refused to eat. And, since they had returned home, he still wouldn't come to his bed at all, and now he was completely refusing all food and water. So, selflessly, his owner was giving Patches to the family he really desired to be with. Which had always been Mary. She said something or someone had spoken to her soul and told her it was very important she make this sacrifice, and make it now. So, she was listening. Patches was just so happy, and so was Scott and Mary. But, that is not the end of the story, rather, this is where our story gets interesting. About an hour later, Mary had a seizure out of nowhere. It was not like other seizures, it was sudden, no warning, nothing. Mary was in the middle of talking, standing, and carrying on a logical conversation, when she suddenly dropped to the floor in a grand mal seizure. Patches had been trying to alert, but Scott thought it was just the new move in jitters. Mary went to bed, got stabilized, slept all day, took all her meds, and had a small dinner. That night she stayed in bed, went straight to sleep. Scott stayed out in the living room, so he wouldn't bother her with noise, he even wore his noise-canceling headphones. 
Patches went to bed, so satisfied to be with his new forever mommy, Mary. A few hours went by and around 9 pm, Mary had a massive seizure and was barely breathing. But, Scott didn't hear it, due to the noise cancelling headphones. Patches raced in to find Scott and get his attention. Patches was persistent, and eventually, Scott realized what was happening, and got there to help Mary. Mary was removed from the bed. She wasn't waking up and wasn't breathing. CPR and rescue breathing were performed while 911 sent paramedics. Paramedics arrived and got her stabilized for the moment. Halfway to the hospital, the paramedics had to enter a tube into Mary's lungs to keep her breathing and she had multiple more seizures. When she got to the hospital they didn't understand what had caused these sudden seizures, and the respiratory failure. They ran every test they had. Her blood work came back clean and her x-rays were fine. They got the seizures under control and they put her into intensive care. They called it a mystery at the time. They couldn't diagnose it. Ultimately, Mary was strong and was able to get off of the ventilator, and eventually was able to get out of the hospital after a few days. A few months went by, and they re-diagnosed the hospital stay, as one of the first US cases of COVID-19. In December 2019, Scott and Mary had traveled through multiple international airports, apparently, Choosing to do this, proved to be very hazardous to Mary's health. Scott and Mary just feel so blessed, that Patches had the insight to know what to do, and to persistently bother Scott, till he was made aware of Mary's seizure. On that day, Patches literally saved Mary's life. And, look what a beautiful vibrant life she has. The difference of just a few minutes of her breathing was the difference of whether or not she is with us today. And this is only one of many times that he's done this, like a little miracle, here to protect Mary. My brother, I am so proud of him. I am learning how to be just like him, so I can help Mary, too. Patches is truly an amazing Yorkie, who gives new meaning to the old term, man's best friend. Hello there I am Socks. Thank you for watching the entire video about my older brother Patches, please like and subscribe, so you can enjoy more fun family stories about Patches and me, and our adventures, our training, our trips, and so much more. Please comment, and I promise to respond to each of you, individually. Though, my paws are very tiny, so I may need help typing out my responses, just kidding, obviously. I will use my tail to help. We look forward to hearing from each of you, and hope you enjoy the videos.